Hey everyone, I'm Victor and I want to quickly introduce to you the Higgs law. Most articles on the internet provide definitions, but not many of them show real-life examples. I experience Higgs law in everyday life quite often. So recently I bought this acoustic form pyramids to make my voice sound better. I went to a site where they had a few options. A set for a small studio at home, middle-sized recording studio, rehearsal space, home cinema, and room decoration. So actually, five options. I instantly ordered the set for a small studio at home without calculating exactly how much form I needed. Then I went to a store to buy a double tape and a glue to mount them, and this is what I saw. <clears throat> it took me about 20 minutes to buy them, even though tapes and glue cost much less than foam. This is what the Higgs law is about. The more choices you have, the more time you will spend. Another real-life example happened to me when I went to buy lights for my house. I went to a shop that looked like this. And no surprise that I didn't buy anything at all. What made this situation worse was that this was the light store, which meant I was dazzled by random lights around. Then I went to a site with a terrific landing page that had only a few contemporarily lit lights. I instantly found what light I wanted. The only reason that stopped me from buying was the price. So in the light store I spent a lot of time but didn't make any decision. In the second case I would instantly buy lights if I had more money. And the same thing happens to everyone. When you go to a store and see three types of chocolate, it's not that hard to make a choice. But when you see 100 types, it becomes more challenging. By the way, if you had similar situations, share them with the comments below, it would be nice to read your examples. So, how to apply this law when it comes to user interface? Well, let me first tell you the formal definition of the law. Higgs law predicts that the time and the effort it takes to make a decision increases with the number of options. That means that if you have an app where users should react quickly, reduce the number of choices. Some examples are emergency aid, firewatch, or maybe simply providing user customer support when employees have to give a quick answer. Another probable situation is when you have a long form with a lot of optional fields. A good A-B test would be breaking the form into a few steps comparing how much the completion time has changed. So, the more simple it is, the faster the completion time. But please, guys, don't overdo it. If you have a form that you have split into 20 steps, barely users will be able to go over them. Also, a small number of choices is not always a good thing. Sometimes you should give users a lot of options because of the nature of your app. Imagine if Booking.com had only a couple of filters and provide only a few hotels. In this case, it's completely normal that the completion time would be higher. It's funny that usually people ask for more flexibility, more options, but when they get it, they are confused and cannot decide what to do. So in certain situations, I would definitely prefer a small number of choices. I notice that I often select just one of the most popular goods on the market without even looking at other options. I just don't have enough time going through all possible alternatives. So that's what I wanted to tell you today. By the way, this is the first video in the UX in real life series, so if you don't want to miss future videos, hit the subscribe button below, I'll put all of them in a nice playlist. Anyway guys, thank you for watching and have a nice day!